Hello and welcome to India.com. I'm Himanshu Shekhar and my guest today is founder and MD of Ferns and Petals, Mr. Vikas Kutkutia. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you so much for having me. So, uh, it's a remarkable journey from one shop, one flower shop to the entire chain of FNP and now you are moving into different businesses. How has this journey been? Yeah, it's been 27 years now, so it's almost more than half of my life has gone into this. And uh, when I started the flower shop, I probably didn't think of, of this day that I'll probably be doing so much. But you keep progressing, you know, as you keep um, walking on the road or uh, you are um, in your, on your journey ahead, you keep seeing new, newer opportunities and possibilities and you keep uh, kind of uh, accepting them. And there are challenges also, at the same time, the ex excitement also. So it's been a journey where, you know, we've learned from mistake and whatever was next important thing to do, we kept doing. So it started in 1994, if I'm correct, yes. and it's 2022. One flower shop, say, how? Wh what are the businesses now? Uh, we, we have basically, uh, flower mein hamare paas, we are doing uh, online, offline both. That's our retail part. Okay. Then we have a section called FNP Weddings where we have one-stop solution for all the wedding requirements. Okay. Starting from flower decoration to tent to wedding venues to hotels, everything. So that's another second biggest vertical. Okay. And uh, then we have got three, four smaller businesses which are new relatively, which is our Last Journey, Baby Bless, Media, WDH. So they are newer businesses probably in two years time or maybe earlier. They will again become. Very and you have stores also in Singapore, Qatar. Yes, uh, retail wise, we are expanding globally. And the uh, idea is to be a global player, a true MNC. Huh? So make in India, India going global. Okay, so uh, now it's the wedding season is on cards, and uh, we have a, if not less than it's at least a $50 billion industry in India. So, what are the plans like? for FNP weddings? Wedding is, I, I must say, ki, uh, last two, three years have been tough for wedding because of COVID. But now, truly, the big fat Indian wedding is back. Uh, we, we all were thinking that maybe post COVID, things will change, people will change their habits. But I, I think when it comes to weddings, uh, nothing's gonna change. In fact, people are, uh, have, great ideas and they, they look at innovation, they want to spend more. So, so it's, it's like a lifetime occasion in anybody's life. And, and India is known the, for its weddings yes, and also. Yes, yes. So, the celebration on the day of the wedding is the day of life. And uh, with FNP Weddings, you have been, uh, you played a key part in uh, arranging people's uh, things for people and also what exactly, how will you see that? Like, is well, how difficult was that part? See, I started my journey uh, as a flower decorator and that, that time wedding wedding was not even called a wedding industry. Right, right. It was just weddings and you, know, you have family members helping you, mama ji looking into the halwai, somebody is right. doing, looking into this. Store ka in charge ko yor hoga. So it was more like stage ka in charge. Man managed like, you know, wedding planning team hoti thi, jo ki aajati thi aur sab has bol ke saadhi kar lete. But I've seen the whole thing evolve when the first destination wedding happened. First international destination wedding happened. So I must say the whole wedding industry has unfolded in front of me and I've been part of this. Very lucky that from the day one till now, I've been part of this journey and we've been able to grow along with the journey, you know, taking care of a lot of areas to make it business business wise interesting for us. So a journey you have told how what are the challenges in this? The biggest challenge is it's an unorganized industry. Organized nahi hai. And the industry is organized, there are some big challenges. And the other thing is that there is no education, there is no Correct. diploma that you know, Correct. engineer or doctor, ho, you are qualified. For wedding, there is no diploma, there is no qualification. So, these are all the challenges. Besides, the biggest problem is that uh, it's a seasonal business. This year, there are not five, five, six months. So, whatever infrastructure or whatever you have, is lying idle for six months, which which takes away all your uh, profit which you earn in the season time. <coughs> there are a the few problems, I guess. Okay, and uh, with uh, 
lot of uh, FNP wedding venues across Delhi and NCR. So, uh, how has been the booking post COVID? I think we are definitely back to normal, back to pre-COVID levels. And unfortunately, this year November doesn't have too many sire dates. Okay. So November is slow, but yes, December onwards, I must say that uh, we should be doing at least. 25% more than the pre-COVID level because there is a lot of pent-up demand. That's great. Both people have done not done it, they were waiting for it, they were doing it, and they are growing up from all the happiness, you know. Everybody is out of the case and sprinting to do something. Do something, yeah. So a lot of weddings that got delayed because of COVID and all are now happening. They didn't want to do 50 people with 50 people or 100 people with 100 people. They didn't want to do it on their own. That's true. However, one thing that actually boomed during COVID was like people using online platform of yours to send gifts and flowers and cakes and cards. So if there was one business probably that got, uh, probably that was more robust during COVID was your online, online thing. Online, yes. So uh, do you see that kind of uh, the, the crowd or the bookings that you had online during COVID is still, the momentum is still there? Or? No, I think a lot of offline people came online so the online definitely had a big jump mm -hmm. but now a lot of lot of such people are going back to offline offline things so online definitely is not in in the same uh, you know growth same uh, growth uh, path uh, it, okay the retail is back you also talked about challenges and all so manpower is a major challenge and you rightly said that there is no training no diploma course no skill course for this so how do you how do you employ resources how do you manage see we have done that there is a particular place in west bengal called midnapur mm -hmm. and yes. midnapur is supposed to be the place where the whole community in the whole that uh, village have flourished. That's their traditional business. Oh, that's great. So, so, so we, we picked up some good people from there who knew what flower is and they were the only solution to flower making at that point of time. I'm talking about okay. like 30 years back. Okay. And then um, while they were working with us, we kept on getting younger, younger lot to get trained under them. That's how we kept so on. So, a lot of employment generation also. A lot happened. of employment generation, and it, in fact, uh, we are running a training school parallelly to keep training people for to, to be able to sustain our growth. This is brilliant. Like not many people would know that aspect. People see online bookings, F and P stores, and all. So, this is a uh, very. It's a very big story. And uh, I also visited your uh, warehouse here, where a lot of people were working, and also with uh, Diwali and gifting season. Basically, you call it. It's coming. So, where do you see this business going? See, uh, uh, gifting is here and it's all about emotions. And I believe that you don't need to gift for the occasion to give gifts. Every day there is something that happens that you want to say sorry, say thank you, say get well. So, gifting is like expressing your emotions, which happens every day. So, gifting is like expressing your emotions, which happens every day. And similarly, I feel that even weddings, why the sire dates? Lot of community don't follow these dates. Correct. Correct. Sardar so, ye ho. Christians. उस तो हर संडे शादी कर लेते हैं. Correct. Correct. Lot of NRIs they come and get married during the Christmas New Year time because there's a time that the holidays they get holidays. उनकी शादी तो बहुत चलती है. तो हमारी. तो साया डेट का चक्कर है कोई मरने की डेट नहीं, जीने की डेट नहीं, साया की डेट चाहिए. तो मैं ये डेट के चक्कर से और ओकेजन के चक्कर से हटके let's celebrate every day. That's a that's a, that's a great thought. So one of my colleague has asked me to ask you this question. Like, we send a lot of flowers and cakes through FNP to our near and dear ones. So how often do you send flowers to your wife, or how do you do that? Aajkal to nahi. I think flowers become too common to please her. But yes, FNP ki shuruaat saath isi tarah hui thi. I had come to meet her in Delhi and uh, I was from Kolkata at that point of time. How old were you then? I was 24. Okay. And uh, I sent one flower bouquet to her, you know, on her birthday. I came to celebrate her birthday. Okay. So I went to Defence Colony Market, ordered a bouquet for her. And uh, when I went to meet her, I saw the flowers and I was disappointed. I said, oh, what is Then I said, uh, Delhi, I mean, it's the capital of the country and, and, and we are paying so much. Why this kind of flowers? Why this kind of service? So, I thought that if there is a dhanki dukaan or if there is a service, then there is a vacuum here. Then I researched everything and the FNP was born. 
So I think that sending of one bouquet was the reason reason behind FNP today. And today it's a unicorn. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so and uh, coming to the business part of this, so we uh, you also have lot of hotels, Udman Hotel chain you have started, and now we have I've been told that there you have more plan plans to launch more hotels in next few years. So can you throw some light on that? Like what are your business plans? See, see destination wedding is the is, is the trend of the day. People don't get married sitting at their own house. They all shift to a hotel. Correct. They Correct. do all their functions for two days and come back. So the idea was to have wedding hotels where people, which is wedding, which is uh, wedding friendly. You, you can do all your rituals properly and you have enough Correct. rooms. So the idea was that Udman should become the best wedding hotel destination for people. So, but then we also realized while running two hotels that. What I'm doing is, is probably a very unique thing because my quality and my overall standards may not be of five star, mm -hmm. yet it's much higher than the normal guest house or normal resort you see. You know, so we are in between. So you are catering to that. Uh, yeah, yeah. The four to five star property, but, but still they have. Th they want, ha, ha. So, so, and we hit we fit there so beautifully that we also started expanding into business hotels. Okay. So we've got three business hotels now. And now we realize that instead of taking uh, a hotel on lease or a resort on lease and running it, we should start managing properties now like any other brand. So now we have signed two properties where we're managing the property, where the property belongs to somebody else. That's great. So the whole, whole, whole hotel try has been so rewarding and so amazing that I think uh, we'll be known as a hotelier in the coming years. We, we intend to open almost a hotel a month. Maybe uh, it gets uh, faster in the coming years. But yes, hotel is a very, very important key area for us. Wish you all the best for that. And uh, last question probably would be with uh, travel and revenge tourism also uh, gaining momentum now post COVID. So with your hotel and all, like, uh, are there also plans of launching standalone hotels at different places? Yeah, yeah, of course. We, it's going to be a pan India brand. Okay. So we, we already have one property which is coming up in Sariska, which is, which is a proper holiday resort. We have something com coming up in Rishikesh. We have one coming in, uh, coming up in Haridwar. One we've just signed in Manali. So it, it has to be three, four formats, resort, wedding hotels, business hotels, and so you give you are giving me my headline for the day. So F and P get entering into okay. Anything uh, that you would like to uh, anything that you expect from the government part to sustain this industry again? Huh, I think I think. I always say that I think that like you have you know a, a ministry or department for every industry minister, this minister, agriculture minister, rail minister. I think there should be a wedding mantralaya also, which takes care of the wedding. Because wedding is a huge industry. And, and let me tell you, when a wedding happens in the family, from a small worker, till a jewelry wala, to a hotel, everybody it engages everyone, yes. So a lot of money, a lot of, you know, the boom happens in the industry during the wedding season. So I think the, the, the government must consider and have a wedding mantralaya very soon, which will make it organized and which will probably be for the betterment of the industry. We will mention that as well. We will mention <laughs> that. And I hope that uh, what you are wishing will come one day come true. And thank you for your time, Mr. Gurudia. Thanks thank a lot. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for having me. Lovely. Thank you.